Hello everybody, Ghost Critic here with my final video of day two of my five years on YouTube anniversary. And this time the video was suggested by fellow YouTuber Sleepy Reader 666 Damien. And he asked me who are my top five monsters. Um, this was a fun one to do. Uh, and again, in no particular order, um, I'm kicking off with my first choice in Frankenstein. That classic horror movie monster that translated so well into the comic books. It doesn't matter what kind of irrit iteration of him um, that we saw. The, the basic foundations of the character is always really the same. That of a tragic figure, a patchwork of dead bodies. Um, whether and struggling to figure out whether he is a man or a monster, um, forever hounded by uh, an ignorant human race who, who really don't give him the chance to, you know, say his side of the story, uh, but a great, great character nonetheless. Uh, my second choice, uh, whoever knows fear burns at the touch of man thing. Uh, another of those kind of misunderstood monsters, uh, this time from Marvel. Um, it's, it's a little bit of a shame because, you know, he doesn't look the prettiest, does he? Uh, if you see that coming towards you, um, I think you're going to get a little bit scared. Um, made of muck and swamp and gunk, um, this kind of mute creature that um, wanders around the swamps is a kind of a bit of like the Hulk character and the fact that he, he just wants to be left alone um, to, to live out his kind of rather dull existence but still a great character who got into some incredible adventures and took him off even into different dimensions. Uh, moving on to uh, Image Comics, um, from the comic book Spawn we have Violator. Um, this was basically Spawn's main villain, one of the oldest hellborn demons uh, who is kind of equally um, horrific uh, and monsterific in both his guises as um, he, his kind of human form is this rather short, creepy looking clown, and clowns are always creepy, um, but then when um, needs be, he morphs into this disgusting um, hell demon. Uh, while he obviously has many fights with Spawn, he's not actually allowed to kill him unless um, his masters say so and um, he's just there to basically cause chaos and um, initially to make Spawn use up all his powers. Uh, great, great monster. Uh, moving on to Dark Horse Comics, we have the monster Saduhem. Uh, first seen in Hellboy's first story arc, Seed of Destruction. Uh, Saduhem was apparently killed um, in this storyline. Um, burnt alive, but a tiny little piece of him remained and he turned up again in BPRD, Plague of Frogs, where he um, proliferated um, the country with frogmen. He is a, this mass of tentacles and eyes and claws and feelers, and you just don't want that monster coming at you down a dark alley. Um, very creepy, very scary. Um, Equally, because it's the it's the Hellboy BPRD universe, and the artists who all work on that make it just as um, the atmosphere surrounding him that much more creepy. Um, finally, and um, some would say their top number one monster, Dan Didio. Enough said. <laughs> 